Welcome back to another part of Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. If you guys do enjoy this, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Previously during the investigation. I'm Kason, Forrest Kason. Thomas, did you see Nick here? I, I, uh, no. I, uh, when I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. Got us good this time, Zach. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> okay, let's see what's ahead of us. Apparently now we're only like halfway with the game, by the way. So, still a lot to do, I think. Zach, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. I don't know where this diner and stuff is, though. So it might be better for me to kill some time with the smoke and go to our objective. How do I get out of this parking lot? <laughs> it's like the big boss, dude. Okay, we get out here. That tree just jumped in front of us. Yo, it's pretty close. That's a good thing. So, Zach, this case turned into a multiple homicide. What kind of motives turn a criminal into a serial killer? Is it hedonistic? Ritualistic? Copycat crime? Sex-related? Cannibalistic? From the Bureau's statistics. These interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. They're just words. Phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. The spotlight falls on a mere 1% of all cases. Only the weird ones. You understand all this, right, Zach? Yeah, a little bit. As bizarre a crime may appear to be. At the root, there is always rage and personal interest. Right, Zach? Most people simply don't kill for pleasure. But that kind of common sense never applies to our investigations. Maybe we're lucky. Or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. We end up working on those cases in that 1%. Do you remember, Zach? The first case we handled, just after becoming a special agent? Now let's talk about this another time. Sure. I don't feel like it right now. Are you done talking? Can we smoke? We need to only smoke for like an hour. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. We're free until then. Yeah. Well, let's smoke. Until 2200. And uh, stop. Went into 100 exactly. Because I'm a boss. Okay, let's do this. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we planned, then. I wonder what happens next. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. The stakeout. Agent York, Nick is leaving the bar. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. 
10-4. Copy that. The car is shaking a lot. It's Nick. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Okay. Time to play with the big boys, Nick. No cars coming. Driving very slow. Like very slow. Wow. I don't know how close or how far we have to remain. Okay, it becomes yellow and red and stuff. So we have to be between the 60 and 100 yards mark. <laughs> Putting on my siren doesn't uh, doesn't affect it. Okay. We might be driving across town, you know that, right? It could be taking forever. I don't know why he's driving like literally 15 miles an hour. Literally. We could put him over just for driving it slow. <laughs> he slowed down for some reason. Can't we talk? The people inside? I thought it was slowing down.
So yeah, if you guys don't know how anything work on this channel, by the way, comes down to just watch time percentage. So like how long each person that does watch the video, like how long do they watch? And also likes. And this way determines whether we upload a part, uh, a next part or not. Pretty much what it comes down to. If you guys have any question about that system, just let me know in the comment section. But pretty much that is the gist of it. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I need to know what, what games people want to see on this channel. And what games people don't really care about. But once we have that figured out, uh, we'll be able to provide better content for the people that watch the channel. And also, it seems like we do we do get a lot of views recently. Um, we're close to like 200 views per day on this whole channel, which is fantastic. It's just I find it very odd that we didn't get that many people subscribing in the first place. Just make sure that you do subscribe. I mean, if this series does very well, which it is at the moment, uh, there's a big fat chance we'll play number two as well. Uh, but mainly this channel will become a new games only channel eventually. It's just I would like to cover old games also, uh, you know, to help building a backbone for the channel. That will eventually lead to the people watching the newer content. Uh, so what I eventually want to do is I want to play two new games um, and finish them completely, right? Uh, so, we upload three times per day, so the first one will be one game, second one will be second game, third one will be third game, and then the third one only will be like old games or something like that, or the first one, still deciding. So we'll upload two new games that recently released, and then t uh, one old game, until we eventually finish all the games that I want to. Uh, which is which includes Deadly Premonition, uh, Metal Gear Solid, Risen Evil, Silent Hill, um, Parasite Eve, Spider-Man, God of War, um, Final Fantasy, and Grand Theft Auto. I thought of starting Grand Theft Auto on like 1 and 2, but like those games is top-down view. I don't really think there's a lot of people that's interested in that, so uh, we started the series on Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And I do own all the games up till 5. The reason why that's on my list is because number uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to come out. It's probably next year. We were driving 10 miles an hour. We'd all have halos by now if I was driving. <sighs> I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. Oh. <gasps> Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't want the time to get serious. Hold on, you two. This might get bumpy. Nick better not be getting away. Is Nick here? George? No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a little. But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Zach, Nick and Diane are probably both inside. 
George, you're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Not that I don't trust you, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. Well, I'll go look for one. Help me out if you can, would you? Are you gonna come help me or just gonna stand there? No cars have shown up. I haven't seen Nick either. I know, I know, George. This is not about that. What the heck? Bro. Uh, well, if Nick's, uh, Nick was headed anywhere, it was here. Where are you running to, bro? Maybe he took a different side road from the forest? The sheriff says he uh, hasn't seen him. There's some loot back here. And a place we could sleep. Surely they should have heard that. Oh, hi there. Amazing. Bullseye. Bullseye. Great. Amazing. Great. Oh, hi there, buddy. How are you doing? These guys are becoming more tanky by the day, dude. Amazing. Move. There's another one. Yes. What the? A shot. Bullseye. Shotgun shells. I still don't even have a shotgun. I don't like the look of this. Uh, there's no way to open it. I wonder if I keep killing them. That these doors might eventually open. Bullseye. Amazing. Great. Yes. I hear so many footsteps, dude. Okay, I don't think this is where I need to be. found an onion. Imagine eating an onion just like this. Ugh.
So how about the other side? Here we go. I feel like uh, we're getting to a point yes. that we need to use the machine gun. Because they just keep coming. Great, great, great. Bullseye. Great. Nice shot. Yes. Yes. Shotgun shells. This loot bothers me. Made it inside. Emily, I want you guys to wait out here. I know. I'm not going to fight you about this anymore. But promise me this. If there's trouble, then you'll call us in, okay? You might not think so, but we're a team. A team? That's what I think, at least. And I'm interested in you and Zach. I don't want anything to happen to you before I hear more about you two. She just wants to see our PP before anything. Oh no, my game crashed. Well, look what I have to do again. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, this is, oh my goodness. The things I do to make sure this channel is actually building up a community. <laughs> Always save, dude. Always save. Okay, now I'm gonna run straight there. And we will use the submachine gun. Oh, don't touch me, Zombos. Can't touch this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, we went through this one. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Emily, I want you guys to. This one as well. Okay, the game crashed again. I found a document 
uh, about people talking about crashing in this game. And a lot of people saying it's due to the fact that the game can't run the time. So I think we just have to like smoke until 3 a.m. Gotta get something to eat. So let's see our items. Pickles. Root beer. Recovers quite a lot of tiredness. Wow. Root beer is more efficient than coffee. Okay, take two. Uh, we, we just have to wait until it's... Uh, okay, now it's three. You know, maybe three is not the right answer. I want to smoke until the, all this is gone. Still coming out. Oh my goodness. No, don't touch me. Okay, we'll skip the cutscenes again. Let's see what happens. Emily, I want you. There we go, I think. Zach, did you hear that? She wants to know more about you. Isn't that a nice surprise? Amazing. I'm sure she, he's referring to the goal now, right? We could save inside. Since that trouble is over, we can save. This place doesn't look creepy at all. Maybe it's a triple kill. Mission knife. We finally have a melee weapon. I think, um... I think we shouldn't melee enemies, though. We should melee these things. The boxes and anything that's breakable. Once there's enemies, we have to just use our ranged weapon.
What? Wow, dude. That takes a lot of ammo. Finally killed her, though. By the way, why don't I have the shotgun yet? It's something I don't understand. Place to save. A donut, nice. Place to change clothes also. We should be able to get more pistol ammo. Uh, take item out. Uh, we're gonna take... Yes. Okay, there we go. So we just reloaded the gun and also gave us uh, some melee weapons. This is the entrance hall. Right now, I'm thinking that Nick is the killer. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Well, we haven't got any pieces of any puzzle yet. I don't even know how much we need. Three. Do 
we need something to put down there. I'm gonna run the other side down first before going the other door. It's just the way I play games, guys. I like to cover the first floor first before going to the second one. But we need an apple or something. There's a timer. It's kind of obvious what we need to do here, then. I don't think it's the right one. They look exactly the same. Why is this there? Somehow it doesn't look natural. Some part of uh, the right place I can help fix this. There's a door. Got a green apple here also now. Maybe a red apple here. I don't know where to put the third one. No. So this one is the green apple. Or the ripe apple. I don't know where the third location is. I can't see anymore. <laughs> I don't know where the third location is. So... Even this now is gonna be like, okay. Yeah, the tree got smaller. Or maybe the last location is the tree. Come on, get to the freaking thing. So this one is ripe. I was also very unlucky to get that one third. This one's green. Oh, it's green. Come on, dude. I 
Either the streak and die. No, we can't hit it anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna check this up. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I have to check it up though, but uh, it is what it is. I do know what it is. So it's on this side. It's this right here. I didn't even see it here, man. I mean, it don't look this way, that's why. Give me that. Nice. Wow. We can't put it in our inventory. Yes. Yes. Yo, she dropped a shotgun? I have to clear my inventory. Throw away the knife, dude. There we go. We got a shotgun. Is there more enemies? Or this one? Might be the first clue, or for yeah, first clue. Uh, Red seed, I uh, could have been an uh, important clue in solving this case. So the red seed coming from the street, though. We're not gonna profile it. Uh, the red vines entangled around the go uh, guide guiding rope. A no-go for sure. Now we're done with the melee weapons. We got a key for the exhibition room. Like, I know where to use that. <laughs> I'm just running, dude. But if we can't anymore, I'm running back. There is a red light there. Why is the heel here? Is the letter heel uh, shoe broken? Uh, Becky must have sent these with her letter. Yeah, we're so close to three because I really want to see this. But it doesn't help we look at it three times. I 
I think it's the other wall. Okay, it doesn't allow us to go there. No, dude. Dude, this gun reloads so fast. This is where we uh, we got the third password. No way, dude! The game crashed again. Uh, by the way, there is so much uh, that I have to redo for you guys, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, it takes so long. Bro, are you are you are you are you serious? I want to go save, and the game is like, nah, dude, you can't save today. That is so not cool, man. Oi, oi, oi. That's gonna be sucky. Okay, so after I got the second one, uh, the game is allowing me to save, which is great. But we will save for sure. Now I don't really remember where we went. For the third clue, or for that cutscene, it's downstairs, right? I did kill all the enemies here. Ah, uh, it's this way, I think. Aiming fails you, you auto aim. So I wish I could manually like save here, but we can't. So Let's see if the game crashes. Oh, the game didn't crash. Dude, this is... Uh... Amazing. Nice shot. Yes. Uh, the door is locked with the key. Hmm. We might be able to get it later. So we, we need it to work. We actually need to use a small bandage. Take that, don't mind if I do. Wait, it shows, man. What am I doing? Uh, an upside down piece mark has been drawn in blood. On a circular painting. Not part of the collection, I figure. And there we go, we got the third one. Cutscene time, baby.
You? What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. No! Don't! I'm not even gonna stop! Ah! <laughs> yeah. The killer can't be a woman. It's impossible. Right? Oh, save, dude. We don't know when we're gonna crash again. <laughs> bullets that will come in handy from down forward uh, first they get small ah, there she is I can't run anywhere She has to be colored for us to shoot her. I hate that she's so close to you when she does that. Uh, let's heal. I wonder if we could just eat food and it will heal us. Doesn't look like it. This makes the shotgun more appealing against her then. Didn't even give us loot. Yeah, the shotgun versus them works nice. I did avoid, man. We can't reload this gun.
now we can reload it. What the heck? I love how fast he reloads the machine gun. More pickles, baby. What I'm talking about. A large med kit or first aid kit. That's crazy. Now we need another place to save, actually. Before it goes all bad. We go another cutscene. What? Two loadings in a row? Hmm? Nick. Would you really let them in? Diane? George, call for assistance with the body. Wait! She's still alive. Diane, don't move. Don't move her hands and stay still. George, it's no good. It won't budge. Emily, stand back. Is George, does he have like a superpower or something?
Agent York, George, are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay. I think I'm too old to be an acrobat, though. Diane looks okay, too. She should be able to tell us who did this to her. God, I hope so. But you, George, quite a catch. I'm impressed. Hmm? George? Guess the thing is gonna fall on her. D Diane! Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Huh. Back off! Uh, Don't touch me! Uh. <laughs> yeah. I requested and Thomas will need a body bag too. us to follow him. Shall we follow, Zach? We will follow for sure. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Could have saved. There should be a save point right here, isn't it? What's happening? Zach, Willie is calling for us. Okay. Okay, Willie. 
Boleh lah apa There's music playing though. Cutting man, if this dog is solving this crime, I'm taking, I'm, I'm keeping him. I'm just saying. Want to make it a number two. <laughs> Yo, dog, I don't see a save point here somewhere, okay? Imagine he's just after a cookie or something. Keep that in our inventory. No place to sa save. We can shave, but not save. And we get paid to shave, apparently. What is the dog trying to... Oh. There. Push. <coughs> Willie, are you out there? Kason, what are you doing in there? York, is that you? Thank God, I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Kason, stand away from the door. 
Wow, give a little bit of a warning, dude. Where's Diane? And what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, I just, I just came here to talk with Diane to have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. This was just a spur of the moment thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Okay, okay. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Two hours ago, me and Diane, we were taking it easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. I've just been here, waiting for her to come back, of course, but but she didn't. I heard footsteps a couple of times, but they just passed by. Well, then I couldn't wait anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. <laughs> then you showed up instead of Diane. Zach, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art. But he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together. But while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was, either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect. But that door was locked from the outside. There was no other way in or out of that room. Which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. But now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement. Which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. I guess this case is really getting to him. He's feeling responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. Take his rules and confidence away from him? I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. Well, putting the blame on him for Becky, 100%. 100% his fault. I, I still think he needs a better punishment than what he received. Uh, if he did receive anything. Uh, but responsible for Di Diane? No. And this woman also, with the thing falling on her, he has somewhat responsibility for this. Uh, because he was roughing up, technically, Nick. For no reason. 
Like they have no evidence yet. And Nick just pushed them away and he bumped the, the statue. I don't know. Um, Nick, sorry, uh, George also seems extremely strong. Like muscle. He could be the murderer. So far, I think it's George. The scratch marks all over his body. I, I also don't get that. You guys don't know who George is. It's the sheriff of this place. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is my theory. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oopsie, I forgot to show this. <laughs> Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.